What Web 2.0 platforms or websites should you be using? My name is Chris Palmer and in this video I am going to answer not only what are Web 2.0 backlinks but also a Web 2.0 strategy that you definitely want to start implementing for your link building campaigns. So stick with me until the end I'm going to share with you a strategy that is ultra effective for Web 2.0 buffer sites, Web 2.0 link building, basically everything Web 2.0 that's what we're going to cover. Let's not waste any time. So the very first thing is we need to establish web 2.0s. What I like to do is come up with a list of the list of the best web 2.0 platforms. All right. So that's the first step. What is a web 2.0? We know that that is a place where we can go and create a website that is hosted on someone else's more authoritative domain. Now, the second part of this is which ones are the best? Why? Because the best ones are the websites that are going to be looked at the most by Google. And most importantly, these are probably the sites that your competitors or other people within your industry are utilizing. Again, stick with me. There's a strategy to this and there's a reason why we want the best and the most used. So take a look here. If you take a look here, here's a list right here. Here's a, a, an entire list of high DA do follow backlink web 2.0 websites. Now I've actually went ahead and gathered this list, which is right here. As you can take a look here, there's WordPress, Tumblr, Blogger, Jimdo, LiveJournal, Wix, Weebly, the list goes on and on and on. There's hundreds of them. These are the best ones and the most utilized. So with that in mind, keep that in mind, Web 2.0 platforms carry DA. It's hosted somewhere else. It's easy to set up. It's good for buffer sites and it's good for passing link power through. And we want to spread our brand out across the web. We'd probably want to set these up for every single our brand name across the web so our competitors can't use them. But there's another aspect to this. Which web 2.0s for you, for your industry, for your brand, your business, your keywords, which web 2.0s are best for you to link build on? Well, this is where the strategy comes in. Let's say that you're a plumber. Now, I primarily talk about local. Most of my clients are local, but this is effective for any niche, e-commerce, affiliate, national, regional, local. It doesn't matter. Let's say you're a plumber. I went ahead and on SEMrush, that's my tool of choice. Use any tool you want. So we utilize, we're looking for plumber keywords. I'm using their magic tool. It's going to give me a list. So if you're a plumber, again, this works for any keyword. I'm going to probably have content regarding all of these keywords. I'm going to either build a page or I have pages currently that are already about this. So the strategy, which we're going to cover now is if let's say I'm targeting, if I build a page for plumbing supply. All right. So let's just say plumbing supply. My objective is, is now that I know and I have my list of web 2.0s, the best one to build for your keyword is one that Google is already rewarding. So let me go ahead and say that again, because that is the main strategy. I really want to make sure that you caught this. If you have a keyword, regardless of the keyword, regardless of your niche, regardless of your service, brand, location, it doesn't matter. You, you have your list of most authoritative web 2.0s. I'm targeting a keyword. It could be any keyword. In this instance, it's plumbing supply. I now have my list of the most authoritative web 2.0 properties. I'm then going to put my keyword in Google and see what web 2.0 Google is actually ranking. Now, ranking doesn't always mean page one. Technically it does. But if it's on the first five pages in the first 50 results, if there's a particular web 2.0, for the keyword that you're targeting, then I most certainly want to create another web 2.0 on that particular platform for that keyword. I'm going to utilize that web 2.0 platform. Now let's take this a little bit further. So now that we have, okay, for this keyword, there's one web 2.0, but we don't want to just build one. We want to build multiple web 2.0 or buffer link assets, right? We want to build a bunch of these. So what we're going to do is if, if I'm going to target plumbing supply for this example, plumbing supply store, plumber near me, any of these keywords, any keyword that is most important to your brand business or service, you're going to put it into Google. You're going to search it. You're going to go through the results. And if a web 2.0 shows up, let's see if there's one on this current page. We'll go Wix. Okay. Wix isn't there. How about WordPress? And I would just work down the list. 
Which Web 2.0s for the keywords that matter to you are sh is Google showcasing a Web 2.0 property? If you're seeing a Web 2.0 property show up in any of the search results for the keywords that matter to you, not just one, not two, not three, you probably want to target hundreds if not thousands of keywords. You're looking for the Web 2.0 properties that are being rewarded by Google. It's as simple as that. Those are the best Web 2.0 properties for you, for your campaign. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any further questions related to Web 2.0, Web 2.0 backlinks, backlink building, link building, SEO, digital marketing, anything, always feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I most certainly look forward to seeing you in the next Web 2.0 backlinks video. Have a wonderful day.